In this video, I want to give you a quick walkthrough of how to use the Independ plugin within TeamCity to add a build step to do an independent analysis to an existing build configuration. This demo assumes that you already have the Independ plugin installed for TeamCity. If you haven't, refer to the video on installing that. Now in this example, I already have a build configuration set up called Analysis. And I've already attached my version control settings to this to pull my application that I would like to analyze from version control. In this case, I have a local application I'd like to analyze, and it's using a Git repository. And I've also set up the build step already. So I already have a build step that goes ahead and compiles my application and generates the DLLs and PDBs for the application that will be part of the input to the independent analysis. It's important that you set that up before you add a build step for independ so that the files are there for independ to analyze. All right, so to do an analysis with independ, add a new build step and choose independ from the runner type. And then there's only one setting that you need to specify, and that's the location of your independ project file that was checked out from your version control repository. So you can use the little flyout here if you want and you can find the location of that. In this case, I have an analysis file checked in. It's important to remember that you need to be using relative pathing within the independ project file because you wanna make sure that when the build agent checks out the components from version control or gets a copy of the components checked out from version control, that the paths are all relative to where it's checked out at so the checkout location is irrelevant. You can refer to the independ documentation for using relative pathing in an independ project file. Okay, so that's all we have to set is the location of our project file that has the settings for the analysis that we'd like to perform. We can save that then. And then to run that, we can just go ahead and kick off a new build. And you'll notice the progress shows as the independ step two of two runs. If for some reason the independent analysis trips a critical rule violation, the build will actually fail as well. But in this case, you can see that the build was successful, which means there are no critical rule violations. All right, and the first thing I just want to point out here at the bottom, you can see there are a total problems found of 287, and of those, zero were errors. This shows up because the Independ plugin maps rules and rule violations to the Team City code inspections, in which case Team City code inspections show on the main page here of the build result as problems found and errors. Rule violations are mapped as problems or inspection issues, and critical rules are mapped as errors. The next thing to point out is there's a new independent tab. This is added because of the plugin as well. You can click on this and you'll actually see the independent report within Team City. This is made available because one of the things that the plugin does is stores the independent report as an artifact of a build. So if you go under the Artifacts tab, you'll notice an Independ Out folder. And inside of there, there's an Independ Report and an Independ Report Files. So that makes the report available. It also means you can download the report if you'd like to view it offline. And then the Artifacts also captures the Analysis Result file. This is great because then you can go back in time and grab Analysis Result files and pull them down locally and use them as a baseline for comparison within an independent analysis you may run on your local machine. And then the plugin also by default stores trend metrics within Team City as an artifact so that a history of trends are available within the independent analysis. And then as I mentioned, rules and rule violations are mapped to inspections within Team City. So the code inspection tab, if you click on it, will actually have information about the violations and rules from your independent project file and from the independent analysis. You'll notice on the lower left that names of rules and the groups that they belong to are available to click on and see the different violations within a particular rule. And then over on the right, you can actually access all the individual instances of these violations. And if you have the Team City plugin to Visual Studio installed, you can actually click this to open up the inspection instance within Visual Studio. And on subsequent builds, you can also check the box to see new problems only. So you can actually, within Team City, see the specific new violations within each build that come out of the independent analysis. And then there are a set of statistics captured as well within Team City. You can access these under the Parameters tab and under Reported Statistic Values. And if you scroll down, you'll see there are four independent statistics. These statistics publish values about how many rules were violated, the total number of rules violated, 
and also how many critical rules were violated, as well as the total number of critical rule violations. And if you hover over, you can actually even see a chart of the history of these. Obviously, this is the first build, so it's not too exciting. These statistics are also important because when you're setting up your build configuration, you can actually go to the failure conditions tab and you can actually add a failure condition on a metric changing. And you also have access to these statistics here as well. So for example, instead of just failing the build if there is a critical rule violated, you could fail the build say if your non-critical rule violations get too excessive. And then the last thing, I'm gonna go back to the build that we were working on here. And you can actually look at the build logs. That's the last area of a good amount of information about the analysis. And in the step for independent, you can click and expand this and you can see a lot of information about where the independent project was loaded from. So if something goes wrong, you can dig into here and see what paths are being used and maybe that will help you figure out if something goes wrong. Uh, if something in your project file causes a problem in the analysis, you can come into here and get a little bit more information. You'll see uh, the progress coming out of the independent analysis right inside the build log. You'll see warnings as orange and any problems will show up as well. And then towards the end, there's a little bit of information about the different things that the plugin is reporting back to Team City. And then one last thing I hadn't mentioned yet, if you go to the edit configuration settings and go to those build steps, go to the independent build step, there are actually some advanced options as well. So the independent project file is the only thing that's required. There are some advanced options that you can use beyond this. And I refer to the documentation for the plugin to see what all of these are, especially as these may change over time. But two I would like to point out is first is the archival of the trend store. I mentioned that by default, the trends are captured within Team City as a artifact of the build. This is done so that we can check those out each time. And no matter what agent the analysis runs on, it always has the trend history available to it. It can add to the trend history and then that new trend history is stored within Team City. That way you don't have to deal with maybe trying to share a uh, network location and put the trend metrics there to get this trend history in your independent reports. The other important option I'd like to point out is comparing to a prior build. If you would like to run the independent analysis relative to a baseline, you can use this option to say, hey, I would like to compare this to the last finished build with a particular tag. You could refer to a build with a specific number, or you could even refer to the last finished or successful build. This allows you to do a baseline analysis in independent relative to some build in your build history within Team City. Again, I refer to the documentation on more of the specifics of these. All right, and that's it for the walkthrough. That's how you can use Independent from within Team City.